Welcome to Sixth Grade Orchestra again. We are talking about hooked bows today on page 41 in your books. Our hooked bows look kind of like they have the staccato sign that we had last time, but they also have that curved line that we've seen before with slurs and ties. So when we have hooked bows, we are going to stop our bow like we would have with a staccato, but we are going to keep our bow moving the same direction like we would have with a slur or a tie. So I could have it going down bow, so I'd stop my bow, but then keep going down bow. Or I could do the same thing going up bow. So even though I stop my bow, I'm going to keep my bow going the same direction as long as it's underneath that line. Let's try number 174 together in your books. Here we go. Feel free to repeat that part of the video as many times as you need to to play it with me or stop the video and try on your own first before you go on. The next thing you see in your book in 175 is a similar idea. We have a hooked bow but between a half note and a quarter note this time. Uh, one of my students at my schools when we went through this in the book asked a good question about how do you play a staccato half note. We don't see staccato half notes very often. The song has to go really fast for that to make musical sense. So you might not see them for a while. But when I have a hooked bow, I'm still going to play it like a half note. I'm just going to stop my bow afterwards. So the first measure in 175, my first note gets two beats. My second note just gets one. But I'm going to stop my bow in between. One, two, three. And that's going to be our pattern for a lot of 175. Let's try 175 together. Here we go. Number 176 is a great way to apply that new hooked bow pattern with the half note and the quarter note in a song that you probably recognize. Enjoy practicing your new hooked bows.